Guys, help. The US has invaded my PC. Helldivers 2. Uh, I mean, does it really need an introduction? Christian, what the hell is this? In a world not too dissimilar from our own, where liberty is now religion, and human life is more expendable than those cameras at Walmart, it is discovered that the territories controlled by Super Earth, yes, that's the actual name, have a slight infestation of Starship Troopers, the legally distinct ATST, and Denji. Ah, I need it is our job as the heroic Helldivers to take our questionable symbolism and liberate these planets by any means necessary. And I do mean any, as the Geneva Conventions thankfully don't apply off-world. The unmatched power of the sun. Because in this universe, it is no longer a right to bear arms, it is a command. So join me as I give you a proper explanation of Helldivers 2. It's my turn to get on the Xbox. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> I like it, Kaji. We start off the training mode on the ground, as I needed to alt-tab because I forgot to start OBS like the absolute babarusa I am. We meet General Brash, the manliest man's man since Chad Thundercock, who is impressed with our ability to just... stand? Making our way through the course, where I definitely did not die twice to the same obstacle. Cut the footage now. We are taught the very basics of harmacy, including on ourselves. And then we are just given a super destroyer to command, which I obviously named mine, the SCS Defender of Peter Griffin. So obviously, knowing that I am fresh out of training at level 1 with zero upgrades, and that this will be my first proper experience with the game, my friends immediately ask... Is Manevalon active? <laughs> Malevolon Creek, dubbed by the community as Space Vietnam. And, uh, yeah, they were right. Ah, oh my god! Ch no! Get the fuck away from me! 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 This is not like the commercial. Malevolon Creek has a special place in the Helldivers lore. The lore, guys! The lore! You see, when it comes to the story of this game, there is none. Instead, it is actively being written right now by you, Max. This game's story includes every mission, every death, every team kill, every thing, the whole universe. You see, in Helldivers, the story is written by the community, meaning Reddit is now canon. And the fall of Malevolon Creek is something that those binary bastards best never forget, because I certainly haven't. And in case you weren't there, think about it like this. We send people to Brazil, and Brazil sends them to the creek. The trees are speaking Arch Linux. It's okay, my friends have introduced me to some new weaponry that should- uh, Oh, uh, what could this be? What's the blast radius on this thing again? Yes. I didn't know we were dropping Discord light mode on their ass. Fun fact, that literal nuclear warhead needed to be armed manually because capitalism. Yes, this is actually in the game. At least the objective was completed, I guess? Oh right, objectives. The objectives of this game are very unique and very varied, and I promise you that they are all extremely important to the real war effort that is really happening due to no fault of Super Earth. These objectives can include anything, from putting the round the peg in the square, square hole to launching an ICBM with the express purpose of killing Margaret Thatcher. Very easy and straightforward, but by far the hardest part of doing anything in this game is your teammates killing both you and themselves for the funny. Hey, hey James, look at me. What? No. What? <laughs> I saved your life. You bitch. Oh, what the shit? <laughs> After our very quick and safe adventure that absolutely helped out with the war effort, I am now no longer level 1 and can afford a few items. Now, all stratagems are created equal, but in my eyes, there is one in particular that is the most equal. My favorite waifu. 
In fact, she is so equal that I spent the next 60 hours of this game farming enough samples to fully upgrade the hangar of my ship. I had nothing else except two 500 kilogram bombs that I can drop on anything at will. And at that point, you need nothing else. I don't even bring a support weapon anymore, and instead bring more eagle stratagems, because my biggest want in life is to watch her dispense liberty at maximum efficiency. I don't know guys, this ace combat DLC is pretty crazy. After the careful application of first degree voting ballots, my friends and I decided to relax on the ship and enjoy the scenery. Hey Jane, do you think we're alone in the universe? Obviously fucking not Seth, <laughs> after what we just went through. What the hell do you think? I don't know, but like, everything else is like, they were originally human except for the bugs, but like, you haven't found any other like, sentient other race. Even if they were sentient, do you think they'd be democratic? I mean, I think we could convince them. Oh my god, what the fuck? But James, I hear you say, if Malevolon Creek is really as bad as you say it is, and trust me, it's worse, then where in the galaxy can I go that is both a safe and affordable trip for the whole family? And, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, okay, sure. The Terminids, and I definitely did not have to re-record any of these lines because I kept calling them the Tyranids. This faction includes Short King, Absolute Bitch, the Ass Artillery, and the Mountain Dew Gamer Gunk Soda Dispenser. Out of complete curiosity, I decided to check if Gamersups had that as a named flavor, and it is not taken, so uh... Hit me up, I have some ideas. The bugs are debatably easier than Skynet, especially when... Oh... I mean, I could make a pun, but the joke just writes itself. But they definitely don't feel easier when the slightly enlarged gnats have acid on their melee attack, which slows you down and can interrupt your stim- God fucking damn- Be sure to bring some bug spray to prevent this. Or how about the fact that some of the light bulbs with legs become active hitboxes when dead and will explode if shot and can kill you? Motherfucking spirit beating me to death with his own corpse. But it's not just the bugs and the bugs that we are fighting. For a while, it was the devs themselves, Arrowhead CEO John Piles of Stonks, and our own sanity. For those of you who aren't traumatized, allow me to present Patch Zero are you joking? <laughs> are you wow, kidding that is an me? Army around your mech and a bio titan. <laughs> yeah, the spawns are definitely adjusted. Perhaps this is why the devs gave us the mech suits. Wait, we have mech suits? Tian Quan is the perfect example of why this game is fucking awesome. Tian Quan was an entire event where we had to evacuate civilians and defend the planet in order to prevent the automatons from stealing our mechs. Unfortunately, the evacuation budget only allows for 20. Sorry about that, sir, but, uh, uh d -d -d democracy And because we succeeded, we not only got them, but each player also had a free mech suit stratagem on top of everything else for an entire week, using robots to fight robots. I mean, if you can't beat him. Yeah, that's right, bitch. We stole your brothers and nuts to build this damn thing. Fuck you gonna do about it. Unfortunately, the bugs made their way into the suits as well. Daily reminder that this game is perfect and without flaws. Seth, what did you want me to look at? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> hey, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Is, is this gonna work? We go! <laughs> Arrowhead, please, please don't remove this, okay? I I instead, okay? Hear me out. Good. In case it wasn't obvious, this game is so much better with friends, especially when they are just as dumb as me, but somehow actually good at the video game. Okay, we do this. Alright, come on, boys. Wait, you guys go that way. I've got one last mission. Christian? I know one last mission. I'm gonna try to take out the base. <laughs> oh, seven soldier! Wait, wait, Christian, 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 Christian. Oh, seven. <laughs> Good luck, soldier. Alright, we gotta go. We gotta go. I am 
hell are you? no ammo, I have no stims, but I'm alive. <laughs> but while you might have moments to remember, what really leaves an impression on you is that music! I tried playing just one mission without the music and very quickly realized how much of a fascist decision that was, and will promptly and voluntarily make my way to the nearest freedom camp. The music is literally required, especially during extraction. It's, it's just so good, dude. It's just, just so good. It gives me a composition boner. The extraction theme and experience is Helldivers 2. Nothing will beat being the last one alive or even just watching the last one alive holding onto your samples for dear life as... God, this game is special. Oh, but hold on, Maximilian, we aren't done yet. Time for another major order. The TCS, a set of normal towers, designed to help all the vacationing families by applying bug spray to the planet itself. And because Super Earth is infallible, this of course had zero consequences and definitely did not make the game any harder or more annoying than it already- They fly now. Bam Zaza so good, them motherfuckers evolved. A second shrieker has hit the TCS. And at the time of writing, this is where we're at. Believe me when I say I really wanted to include more, but, um, yeah. So instead, like any other person with ADHD, my friends and I are just going to stare off into space. You guys think we're alone in the universe? <laughs> <laughs> の無限を衝突させることで生成される仮想の質量を押し出す。挙式紫。<音楽><音楽>